Well, I'm done. I'm just done. So I've set up a little station here. I've got my coin that I pulled in there. I've got a trash can right there and put my leavings in. Right there and put my coin. Let me show you what I got off the corn that I'm pulling. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm not happy. So I'm quite unhappy with the production of this corn. And I'm mainly unhappy because of all the earworm damage. I don't mind seeing a little bit up here on top, but when they start coming down in here, it just, it just ruins half the ear. Gotta cut it off way down in here. And you're left with maybe a half ear. And I'm just finding that over and over and over again. Over and over and over again. It's not gonna go to waste. Chicken's gonna get it. That one did not pollinate well. A lot of blank spaces in it. And the ones like that, <laughs> earworms ain't stupid, I guess. Those the ones like that, the earworms really didn't get into. Not very deep. You know, so that's a corn, that's an ear, but it's just not much to it. I think that'll probably go the chickens too. Let me find a, a big fat one. This should be a good one, but I guarantee you it's gonna be eat up with earworms. So my point is, actually that's that's the best ear I think I've got so far. A little bit of earworm damage on the top. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, if you will remember, if you watched my other video, I used Safer brand uh, organic insecticidal or, or caterpillar control. And uh, I am just not at all pleased with what it did. That one's got earworm damage on it. Still not a bad, not a bad eating ear there. So those two are not too bad. Not too bad. Put those in the basket. But over and over and over again, I'm pulling this and I'm finding just devastating earworm damage. Even after, after using the safer insecticidal stuff. So not real happy. I'm gonna show you. I'll show you in, in just a second the uh, how much corn we got, but I guarantee you it's only gonna be a fraction of what we should have gotten. Uh, now is it is it this is Stowell sweet corn? Is it Mr. Stowell's fault? I don't know. I really can't blame him because he's been dead probably 100 years, but this corn was designed or developed back in 1850s I think so he been dead a while and I can't can't blame him uh, the um, that's not bad if if I were getting that all the time I'd be I wouldn't be griping probably but over and over and over again I'm just getting that and they just eat way down in there where you gotta cut off some, some dang much of it you're just not left with anything now if I was hungry real hungry depression depression hungry I'd be eating the crap out of that I bet you but, however we're not in a depression or at least not yet but that's a whole nother video That one did not 
pollinate well plus worm just got in here and just I mean just tore it up just tore it up so chicken feed chickens are loving this because I've already given them a bunch of it and the the stole it ripened just it's supposed to be a hundred day corn in fact, some people I think say even longer than that. And I started pulling corn at like 70, 75 days. This is 80 days. And it's all ripe and some of it is even, uh, the, the shucks have already started to dry. It's just over ripe. So, you know, I probably shouldn't even keep that know if it's worth keeping but uh i'll eat it i mean i went through all the trouble to to do it but is it i'm, I'm just trying to decide if it's worth growing corn see they come down here and they screwed that up so that, that whole ear's gone eat it eat down to there and then something come in here and board in from the side and ate that gone done i get nothing over and over and over again. That one just eat up. So I'm not real happy with uh, Safer Spray. I will never use that again, that organic stuff. Last year, I grew some real nice sweet corn, spring corn, and uh, used seven and had a little airworm damage, but not much at all. So... That one just didn't fill out enough to even make it worth nothing. So I'm going back with seven. I'm done with safer, except maybe for tomato uh, hornworms. It's supposed to do well on them. Bacillus thuringiensis. Some of the shorter ears, and see that is, it's just not, is it really worth having a two inch ear there? I don't know. I will. But I'm not happy about it at all. But that's okay. I mean, that's just part of farming, part of learning. I'm trying to teach you right now that don't trust safer. Because I did this year and I lost out. I lost out big. Anyway, just wanted to show you that, and I'll uh, take you in and show you, or tell you how much corn on whether I'll lay it all out. Some of it's already in the freezer, but I'll uh, I'll show you the corn that we got, how much we got, tell you how much we got, and uh, let you be the judge if you think that's enough corn. I don't. Not happy. So we are in the kitchen now, and uh, like I said, the bulk of the corn is in the freezer. So I'm not gonna pull it out and show it to you. It's just not necessary, I don't think. But we got eight bags. These are gallon bags. Eight bags, just about what you're looking at right now. Uh, we should have got 20 bags, 30 bags, I don't know, off of that uh, plot of corn. Seven rows, about 60, 50 or 60 feet long. And, uh, and the stoles did produce, but it just did not produce that many what I consider edible ears. Uh, I, and, you know, I can't, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty quick to blame myself for things, okay? But, um, but I fertilized the dog out of it. I watered the dog out of it. I mean, I just don't think it was me. Like I say, some of it didn't pollinate well. There's some, there's some missing kernels. That means that you didn't get the pollination. Uh, like that one there is missing some kernels. Uh, each one of those silks on that corn uh, head, the corn is making, each one of those silks have to be pollinated because each one of those silks is attached to a kernel of corn. So each one of them has to be pollinated. And obviously some of them did not get pollinated. I had it planted the space the right distance apart, about 30 inches. Um... I don't know. I just don't think it was me, except for the fact that I used organic, that gum, safer organic control. 
and I'm just not happy with that. So again, I used seven before with, you know, some earworms, but nothing like this and got a uh, pretty good crop of corn. So um, if I grow corn again, and corn is just too dead gum cheap, it's kind of like potatoes. I grew potatoes this year, but taters are cheap, folks, and I don't know. Anyway, if I grow corn again, it won't be with safer. I'll use safer for the hornworms on the uh, tomatoes, and that's about it. So this is, uh, I'll use seven or something like it because it's worked for me in the past. This did not work for me, and I just want to let you know. Still got a lot of peppers. I'm getting tons and tons of peppers and just having a big time with them. Tomatoes, as it cools, maybe another week or two, the tomatoes will start setting fruit again, and we'll have tomatoes till frost. Uh, picking a lot of peas, canning a lot of peas, um, but I'm just unhappy with the corn. So it is what it is. I got eight of those bags, eight of those bags, and that's just not enough. So for me, the moral of the story is, I don't know. If you, have, if, if you are in the South and you grow organically, I would love to know that because I just don't know of anybody around here in East Texas, which is hot and humid, that is successful at organic gardening. I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm saying I don't know of any. And I've talked to a bunch of master gardener friends and neighbor that just became a master gardener. And he said, what they tell him basically in the class is you can either have produce or you can be organic. You're not going to have both. Now up north, I'm sure that's not the case. You just don't have the bug problems we have down here or whatever. So if you, if you are in the south, hot, humid south, and you grow organically, I'd love to know how you do it. So leave a comment below and um, shoot, tell me about it. I'm all ears, but I'm done for right now. We're safer, and for right now, until I'm convinced otherwise, I'm done organics. And I don't want to be, but that's the way it is. I've got, if I'm gonna spend time and money, effort, Sweat, blood, sweat, and tears on food. I want it to be decent food. All right? I know some of you think if it ain't organic, it ain't decent. But, you know, I'm 67 years old, and I've done okay so far without too much organics in my life. Anyway, that's about it. We are gone.